<laughs> Shane and Romeo right now. Shane, the coach, ranks you third in this one. Whoever, if you do win, you will be champion of the games. What do you reckon? Ah, I can only, as I always say, do my best. <laughs> Are you going to win, yes or no? Just please say. I'm going to run as fast as I can, and if that's quicker than the rest, I'll be happy. <laughs> You never give me a straight answer. You gonna beat him, yes or no? I'm gonna pretend there's a piece of rice, peas and chicken down at the end of the line and I'm just gonna run after it, you know, and do my thing and do my best. I like your style, Romeo. You gonna beat Shane? I hope so. Uh, I've got my family here, my friends, and uh, I've seen a couple of supporters. Hello. But um, I'm gonna do my best. Romeo's a quick boy. Well, good luck, boys, tonight. Jamie. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. Right after the break, you'll see our men. Welcome back to a packed Don Valley Stadium here in Sheffield where Lady Isabella Harvey has just taken the gold in the women's 2004 competition. Katie Hill took silver and Charlie Dimmock took bronze. One of our men is just 100 metres away from triumph as well. Currently the men's leaderboard looks like this. Quite simply, there is nothing in it. Can Shane Lynch hang on? Well, we're about to find out as our men are taking to the block. So let's go over to our commentator, David Goldstrom. Thanks, Jamie. Well, the rain's pouring down, but they'll have to keep that out of their minds. Mr. Gay UK, he's got a major chance here. If he could win with a PB, he could snatch the championship. But if he does and Shane comes second and gets the PB, it could still be his. I tell you, Jamie, there are so many permutations. We've had to import an army of mathematicians who are standing next to me in the photo finish tower. This could go any which way. It really is open. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our men's final event, the 400 meters sprint. It's way more. Right at the beginning of the week, two more points and a PB are a possibility, and that could put him right on terms with Major Ingram. In lane two, Mr. Gay UK. Has been Mr. Consistent, never out of the top three, only two points behind Shane Lynch. In lane three, Romeo. Romeo is a danger to them all. By two tenths he has the fastest PB. And Romeo, who this week won the wrestling and the skating. In lane four, Shane Lynch. Shane Lynch, three victories, but this is the one that matters. He's got those sin splints. His sins may be sore, but it's mind over matter for 100 metres. In lane five, Charles Ingram. The track apart from Pat Sharp, but those two could have a ding-dong battle here to see who will and who will not get the wooden spoon. Well, really, ladies and gentlemen, please now come to order as our men prepare for this event. So closest to you will be Major Charles Ingram in black, two away from you, Shane Lynch in green, then Romeo in red. Mr. Gay UK in blue, and furthest away in lane number one is Pat Sharp. Once again, they, like the women, must remember what Mike McFarlane has told them to do at this very moment. Full start. Ball start there, and they're going to have to decide, was it Romeo or was it the Major? I would say, Catherine, I would give that to Romeo, but the important thing, Catherine, as you know from athletics, the rule is vicious. Whoever <laughs> makes the next false start is out. Yep, it takes no prisoners, this new starting rule, and I think Romeo held his hands up there, took responsibility, but you're right, David, it doesn't matter now. Whoever does the next false start, and they're out. Well, let's hope there is no full start. We wouldn't want this championship decided on a full start. But it just adds to the nail-biting tension for the second time of asking. This time it's clean. Romeo bursts into the front. Mr. Gay UK going shoulder to shoulder. Shane Lynch in third, buying with Pat Sharp. He's got the legs over Charles Ingram. Here goes Mr. Gay UK. And Mr. Gay UK ahead of Romeo with Shane Lynch in third. 
just getting ahead of Patchard with Major Ingram in fifth place. And Mr. Gay UK, and it is a PB, and I reckon unofficially that Mr. Gay UK has taken this championship as well as the victory in the 100. Fantastic strength towards the end there. Absolutely brilliant. We could convert Mr. Gay UK to a quarter miler. He had such strength in the last 50 meters. They all got away well considering that false start. But look at the drive from Mr. Gay UK and Romeo there, neck and neck. And it was a case of who wanted it more. Mr. Gay UK wanted to win this championship outright. Fantastic technique there. Mike McFarlane is going to be proud of all of these guys. And a winning margin and half a second PB there for Mr. Gay UK. Absolutely brilliant. A dip finish as well. Yeah, 12.44 for Mr. Gay UK, that's more than half a second inside his previous best, so he's done it, and he's done it in style. Ladies and gentlemen, the men 2004 champion of Mr. Gay UK and Shane Lewis. Well, what a wonderful scene. Mr. Gay UK leaves his first victory of the week till last, but it's the one that really, really matters. Five men who have really had a sporting seven days, and that is really, really great to see. What a fantastic finale. We couldn't have scripted it better. Well, that really was quite the most extraordinary thing I've seen. There's Spoonie congratulating the other boys. Here are then the official results of the men's final event of 2004, the 100 